Welcome, in today's video we are going to make another coiled basket. We will be using these two beautiful colors. This one is aloe, this one is lavender. They are both five millimeters. And I do have some scraps of mauve and blush that I might use as well. And I will drop a link in the description box below to all of the materials being used. And I am going to be using the 3 8 inch filler cord. So to get started, I will begin with this aloe color and you always start a new roll by pulling the end with the knot. So I'm just gonna get a handful of this. You will also need a darning needle and some scissors. Go ahead and place one end into your needle and then go like this to make sure there are no knots. And then this right here, this filler cord, I am going to take the tape off. It comes with tape on it. This is a brand new roll. And then we are going to cut this at an angle. Okay, so to begin, go ahead and place about two inches over that filler cord and then begin to wrap. You wanna do it nice and tight so that when we fold it over, it doesn't show. And this will start to fall apart a little bit. Just go ahead and pull whatever wants to fall out. Just pull it out. Okay, once you have it wrapped, it is time to just fold this over. Hold it nice and tight. Try to kind of go over this just a little bit to prevent any gaps so that the white doesn't show. And then just keep wrapping it. Okay, that's good right there. And then we're gonna turn it again. This part's gonna be hard because of the thick cord. So squeeze it and then place your needle through the center and pull. Okay, and then continue wrapping. And I'm not worried about that space right there because I will make sure that I get it covered up as I continue to wrap. I can actually just adjust this a little bit as well. So I am going to wrap it three times. Place it through the center again, pull. Wrap it another three times. Place it through the center. Wrap three times. Place it through the center. Wrap three times. Okay, three times. times. Three times. And then I'm going to go right here for my last time and it's going to help cover up that little white spot. just adjust these and then when I go around here this will also help catch it okay I think I will squeeze one more into the center right here And now 
it's time to start going through this part here. Okay, and then if you see any white that's poking through, you can just get the needle and kind of just adjust your cord at the bottom. And there, it just covered the tiny little part that was showing still. Okay, to add an extra piece of cord, go ahead and wrap the tail around once. Take your new piece, lay it right over it, hold them both together and then wrap. So that would be my third one. And now it's time for me to go back through here. And then you just continue doing what you were doing. So that is how you add a new color and how you add extra cord. Okay, so now just continue going until you have made however many rounds you want. That's the beauty of this basket is you can make as big or as small as you would like, and it just depends on how many rounds you do. Okay, so I just completed six rounds, and you count from the center and then just go out. So when you go out, I have six going each direction. So I'm beginning my seventh round, and this is going to start the side. I will do two more rounds with this aloe color, and I just wanted to point something out. So I started out with counting three, and then a couple of them I counted four, maybe like just a very few i did five and they just came out really nice and neat going right in between so when you're doing your wraps just do it by eye and if you'll notice some of them have two within a space and that's fine because it looks really pretty like it matches pretty good so for round seven and eight for the side i am going to let me wrap this really quick Okay, so I just wrapped four, and I'm actually just gonna bring this up just a little bit because I don't want the sides to go straight up. I just want them to go out at a slight angle. So to do that, and I just put lotion on my hands, so just know that if you put lotion on your hands, it'll be harder to pull this because your hand will be sliding. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold it just at a slight angle on the side so that it comes up just a little bit. So rounds seven and eight, I'm going to wrap at just an angle. So eight will go slightly above this one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way around, and then I will show you what we're doing after round eight. Okay, so this is round seven completed. And so I'm going to do round eight the same way, just bringing it up just a little bit so that it continues to go out just like at a slight angle. So now for the ninth round, I am adding in my lavender because now I'm going to make some flower petals going around the entire basket. So by doing that, I'm going to coil continuously over this. I'm not going to double wrap until it's time for me to connect it. So to do that, to begin, I am just going to finish this green. Right here is good. Add in the lavender and just start to wrap so that you hold it in place. So I'll do three and I'm going to do one double wrap right here and this is basically to get it started. Okay. And now I'm actually going to trim this one off and a little bit of this tail because I don't want it to be that much thicker in that spot.
And we are going to do a continuous wrap of this color. Just keep going. Okay, now I have this wrapped 18 times. So whatever number you do, you're gonna do all the way around. Okay, so now I will double wrap again. But I'm going to actually do it twice because I wanna give it a little bit of extra support. So now you would do that all the way around. However many times you end up wrapping, just continue doing the same thing. So when you get towards the end, you can try to plan for it, but if you notice that it's not working out, you can make them smaller or you can make them purposely like different sizes, but it might end up being a little bigger, or a little smaller towards the end. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole round and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I just wanted to show you where I'm at. I am close to the end, but I can tell that I can put two more petals. So basically one, and then two. So they might not be all the exact same size, but they're pretty close. They're all about 18 to 19 wraps. So I will finish that real quick and then show you how to fasten it. Okay, so this last one is just a little bit longer, but it is not really that noticeable. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go underneath this row right here, right below it, and then give it a couple wraps. I'm just gonna do one more and that will cover up the aloe with the rest of this lavender. That's perfect right there. Okay, and so now that I'm done with this, I am going to change my color again, but for the next few rounds to finish this basket, I am going to continue coiling directly over this again. And this time I'm going to go straight on the top. So I will show you how we do that. And if you want, you can choose to do this at the end and make this the top of your basket. But I wanted it to be just like a little accent design just in the middle of the basket. So I am going to trim off this lavender. Just leave enough. Okay, so I am going to use this blush that I had already cut. And I'm basically going to do the same thing we've been doing to add the next color. This tail is just a little longer than it needs to be, so I'll cut it in half. And then I will add my new color the exact same way we've been adding our cord. I will double wrap. Okay, so now instead of letting it curve, I'm going to keep it straight, but we need to coil all the way around this until we get to the center point to connect it, I'll show you. Okay, and then when you get to like the middle point of the little petal, go ahead and do your double wrap there, just basically directly underneath it. And then continue wrapping. So we're going to just continue going like that so that it becomes round and it doesn't have that flower shape anymore. So the little petals will probably stick out and like just give a little design on the outside. So I'm going to continue doing this all the way around. So I'm going to just keep wrapping all the way until I get to this next point and then the next one all the way around. Okay, so I am almost done with this, this part of it. So now I'm going to again go through here, pull through. And that is all I've been doing this whole time, but I'm keeping this nice and straight because I'm trying to form my basket again. Okay, as I finish this round, I'm going to go back to how we were doing the base of this basket. And that is going, you know, every few wraps. But I need to add in another piece of cord really quick. Okay, so that's my third wrap. And I'm going to do one more to make it four. Okay, so now that I'm at my fourth wrap, I'm going to go directly under this pink row. Okay. 
because now we are back to what we were doing at the very base of this basket. So the only thing I'm going to be doing here is just wrapping, you know, every three or four, just depending on the space that I see in between these double wraps. And so it might be two or three per section until we get back to another full row of this. But I am going to make sure that I keep this filler cord directly over it because I want the sides to build up going straight up, not out at an angle like we did at the bottom. So for rows seven and eight, I had them out a little bit and now the rest of them are going to go straight right over the previous round. I will continue this round and then show you what it looks like. Now that I completed this round, you can see a little bit better that it is starting to look like this again. So now I'm going to go two more rounds. I might switch my color one more time, but I'm definitely going to do two more full rounds of this exact same pattern. And then I will be done. I will just show you how we finish it. So you can stop it at any point. You can keep going. You can stop after this, whatever you want, really. But I'm going to do two more and then I will show you how to finish. Okay, so I am coming to the end of this basket. So I know I need to cut this filler right here. So I'm going to cut it at an angle. And then I will just continue wrapping. And then when I get to the end, I will do a bunch of double wraps until it's covered. So I will show you when I get closer to the end. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to continuously wrap it, double wrap it. So just just like the one that we just did right here, just keep going until the whole thing is covered. A little bit this way. Maybe you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to try to stay right here on this side of this. For one more. Just make sure that you're looking both on the inside and the outside of the basket to make sure that this is covered. Which it is, looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap it two more times. There. And now it is all complete and covered. So check the inside, that's just a loose piece that I am going to trim with my scissors. If it still shows like it does, just go ahead and poke it back in. Okay, so now you can weave this underneath these if you're able to, depending on how tight you made it, or you can put a little piece of glue or you can do a knot. So I'm actually going to knot it on this double wrap right here, this mauve color. Okay, sorry, I had to turn off my camera because my needle got stuck, but anyway, I did a double knot and now I'm just going to get really close and trim it. And then that is it. Here is a really cute spring basket. This would be perfect for Easter. It would be great to display on a living room table or just wherever. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.